Okie dokie. Second example for this problem, let's jump right into it. We are finding I prime, the rate of change of the infected population with the help of B equaling one over the days it takes to recover. So let's find these values in order. I may just, let's just write out what I prime will be and fill in values as we go. So I prime is equal to A. So A first is the value that's given here, 1.3 times 10 to the negative 5. You could either plug that directly in when you're calculating, so 1.3 times 10 to the negative 5, or you can use the decimal, which is what I prefer. We'll do, uh, we'll do four zeros after the decimal place, and then comes the fifth place, which is the 1, then the 3. So <clears throat> if it's 10 to the negative fifth, you'll do four zeros, then the number. If it's 10 to the negative seven, you would do six zeros, and then the number, etc. That's A. Our I value is the number of infected, which is given here. They say 3,018 people are infected. We need the number susceptible, which they give us as 166 people are still susceptible. Minus B, which is... 1 over the days it takes to re recover, which is 19. 1 over 19. And then again, we need I, which is the 3,018 value. So let's go ahead and plug this into Desmos. Let's try our split screen again. And give it a go. So we are doing point zero 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 one three times 30 18 times 166 minus 1 over 19 times 30 18 and that gives us negative 152.3 but probably just round to 152 negative 152 let's go back to this we have negative 152 people per day so it looks like option a just might be our answer and it is all right hopefully this makes some sense if you have any questions please let me know if you need more of a breakdown again please visit the first example